Well, when you're disoriented, everything goes with you, and it's almost as if it was reality. Make sense? Now, how many of you drive? Good, okay. You're driving along, you get to a stoplight, and you, part, you stop, and a car pulls up to you, and you're on a hill. And your car stopped, no problem at all, but the car next to you starts rolling backwards a little bit, or ro pulls forward even, pulls forward a little bit. What do you feel like's happening? Your car's moving, so what do you naturally do? Brake. Hit the brake. That's a natural reaction. Well, why? You're not moving anywhere. <laughs> right? You were disoriented. You perceived the information as if it was real. Well, that's what dyslexics do. That's what most learning disabilities do, and that's why it's causing confusion, because when it comes in wrong, how can we get it out right? Does that make sense? So if you're getting information incorrectly, you can't get it out right. So think about it this way. Um, you, were, you responded to your car and pushed the brake when you weren't moving anywhere. And if that was a test question, you would have got it wrong. Correct? Well, what happens when you get to school? They disorient. Something causes them to disorient. They're like confused. They know the material because they listened well in class, but they got the, the thing wrong because they perceived it as if it was real. So they marked it wrong. A good example, I was in college and I was, the professor was uh, um, talking on and he went off into an example and then he came back and he kept teaching. And I said, I know this, I got it. And I wrote notes down and it's exactly what he said. I knew it was right. And so when we got to the test, I wrote the answer down and I get it wrong. And I was so furious, and I went up to him and I said, this, you said this in class. You said it in class. I know you did. And the, pro the professor looks me straight in the eye and he goes, I would never have said that. And I was just totally floored because I could have sworn he said that. And I totally got it wrong. And I said, well, because this is my life story, I'm always guessing what's right and what's wrong. Finally, he's just like, oh, well, I guess I was wrong. I didn't want to fight anymore because I guess I was wrong. But the crazy thing is I didn't understand until, what, when I was 34, 35, what actually was going on with me. When I went through that program, it totally changed my life because what we did was we were able to, he, they were able to give me a tool to know, have my imagination seeing what I'm seeing.